Hello, I'm Matt Barron, Vice President of Academic Affairs, and I'd like to welcome you to our virtual Outstanding Awards recognition. Each year, we set aside a special night to recognize those outstanding students, faculty, staff, and alumni that go above and beyond to make Bay College what it is today. This year, we're going virtual. Along with our Bay College Foundation, our local business sponsors, and our faculty association, I'd like you to join us in recognizing these awardees. Hi, I'm Nancy Prezrocki and I'm the president of the Bay College Alumni Association. And I'm here to talk to you about our alumnus of the year, Holly Way. Holly always wanted to be a veterinarian. She worked hard to achieve her goals. She began her journey at Beatty Knock Community College, earning her associate's degree in 1995. Holly says that her preparation at Bay was one of the reasons she was so successful at Northern Michigan University, where she was the graduating biology student of the year for 1997. Holly went on to Michigan State University College of Veterinary Medicine. After graduating in 2001, she never thought of living anywhere but the Upper Peninsula. Even though Holly is a veterinarian and a busy mother of four, she finds time to teach future veterinarians by working with students from the Michigan State School of Veterinary Medicine during their rotations to Upper Michigan. Holly volunteers at the Miracle of Life exhibit at the UP State Fair each year. She also volunteers to her at her children's school, her church, Boy Scouts, and hockey. Congratulations, Holly, on being chosen the 2020 Bay College Alumnus of the Year. My name is Dr. Holly Wayne. I thank Bay College for honoring me with the Distinguished Alumni Award. I have a challenging, interesting job. Sometimes disgusting, sometimes hilarious, sometimes very sad. But I love it, and I am fortunate to have it. And I thank Bay College for making it all possible. My patients mostly love me, but some try to bite me. Some of my patients need my help to have things removed from them, such as teeth, rat poison, puppies, large sections of carpeting, or undergarments. Every day brings new challenges. I might be presented with a dog who has no blood cells at all, or dogs who have gaping bear attack wounds, or a cat who ate lilies, or a dog who has investigated a porcupine. During the day, I might be reaching into areas of an animal that the sun never shines on or sifting through vomit to try to determine what toxic item my patient takes. I might be explaining the details of treating diabetes to a client or having discussions about the quality of life of someone's good friend. All this is what I love to do. I enjoy spending time with owners of my patients. I love to see neighbors, classmates, family, bus drivers, and teachers that I have. Complete strangers also trust me with the care of what is sometimes their most beloved companion in the world. I'm blessed to be able to serve my community, not only as a veterinarian, but as a Boy Scouts of America Scoutmaster, an active church member, as well as a parent of student scholars and athletes. I hope will attend Bay College. I remember that Bay College faculty members who provided me with the foundation and mentoring that was so helpful to my professional and personal successes. People who brought real life experience and wisdom to the classroom and their humor was appreciated. I thank the Alumni Association for this honor and will forever be grateful for my experience at Bay College. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a better name.